Right, are you ready? Watch this. Power functions. At least a person is cheering at the fact that that's motored. Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to a video showcasing the Blue Guardian. It's alive. It's still here. Back from the dead. It's not just Thomas anymore. It's this thing. So, I was looking through my drawers, aka the scrapyard, where I've kept all my trains and rolling stock, especially the stuff that died. And I saw some of the engines, you know, Midnight Panther was in there, Greyhound, the White Medallion, the Blue Guardian, of course, and the Orange Bullet in particular, because they were all quadruplexes. They were massive engines, and at the time of building them, they were cool. But I'm at a position where I don't need a bunch of big engines anymore. I want to be able to have plenty of trains for my railway, but at the same time, I don't need a bunch of massive... You know, I got two quintuplexes. That's enough. That'll do me. I'm not going to get greedy anymore. I can't afford to do that. So I thought, what can I do with the Blue Guardian? So I turned it into Thomas the Tank Engine. Then I made this. This was made between the hours of 11pm and 2am a few nights ago at the time of recording. Oh, that was a good build session. I had to be very careful and quiet, of course. But this is a good looking train. I do like this. As interesting as this looks, I see this more as a freight train. I don't know why. I think it's the shape of the front. Obviously, we got the... I love my flag and my spoiler, so I got that thing going on there. But with a whole big wheel thing going on there. Let's have a quick look at the front, actually. So let me just move my train backwards. There we go. So that's the front of the train. So the idea is that this is supposed to be smoke deflectors. There are some train designs out there where smoke deflectors are absolutely massive and kind of look like big floppy ears. So I thought I'd try and replicate that and I found the, these are... Shit, what are these actually? I think this is from a Lego Friends set? I pulled the stickers off. I can't remember what was actually on. I think it was like a horse thing. So it must have been from a Friends set. A really old one where it's like a horse carriage thing. I don't know, but these are big pieces. They were blue, so I thought, you know what, let's use them. I actually don't mind the fact that they're brighter in a way because it kind of brings out the fact that they are smoke deflectors. The face itself is grey, which is actually a bit odd because I had a blue bit there, but it was nice to actually have this grey face. I could take that off actually. So, have this big old circular bit and another big old circular bit, put the two together and this looks quite nice. This was originally going to go on the Greyhound. In fact, I think it was on the Greyhound. I've stolen it from that. So, yeah, eventually, because it looked so good, I wanted to be able to put on another train of mine, but I was never sure which one to put it on until now. So that's pretty good. So that's kind of the idea of the front. So looking at the front, that to me says freight train. Looking at it back here, that says passenger train. I might get rid of those, but at the same time, the, board, uh, the tender will look a bit boring. So, hmm, have to work on that. For now, it'll be a freight train. I have freight. I wouldn't mind having a freight train, I suppose, as well. We'll argue about that later on. So, Legoland, that's on both sides. It'd be nice to have that at the front as well. It kind of looks like the Emerald Knight sticker. That's on my Emerald Champion. It's... Well, on that engine, it's in the middle of the boiler, but here, because it's an actual brick, I need to put it somewhere where it can fit. The cab was tempting, but the build for it was a bit odd, so I just thought, yeah, so it, put it out the front. Why not? Looks good. I'll just move my train forward a bit. I don't like that noise. Oh, I've got to live with it. So, lo and behold, big old big wheels are back. So, I... I'm questioning this, I have to be honest, I'm very questioning this, because these wheels were taken off the Emerald Champion because they kept derailing. I have done tests of this going around the corner and on points, and it does work. Obviously, I do make the tests before making the rest of the engine, otherwise it will be a bit pointless. So, one set of wheels I'm okay with. It has the big old, the better sort of cylinder sort of action going on there it's really good Ooh, Christ. 
And yeah, it's nice to see the big wheels again, to be honest. It's very cool, very chunky, but the annoying thing is it does create these massive gaps. There's one here and there's one there. They're all they're both five studs wide because that's the technique part that's in between holding them all together. It needs to have that space to allow it all to turn, which is so frustrating because again those gaps look awful. But I can't do anything around that. The only thing I can do is just to fill that gap uh, by the wheel side, it's like I've done there. So it's ugly and annoying, but shit happens, I suppose. I can't really do anything else about it. So, it does create a longer boiler. And that's a good thing, because I have all the slope pieces from the quadruplex version to turn it into a big old engine. Got a little bit bigger at the back, as you can see there, which is quite cool. Two whistles on top of the cab uh, roof, which is quite nice. Very spacious cab itself, but for now I've only got a guy with a top hat in there because that was the only material gear I had at the time. And the tender is a kind of plain boring, it's very samey, very much same to the previous one. Tell you what, let me shuffle forward. Let me just bring my train over. Let me show you where the magic happens. So, here we are. Underneath here is where all the power functions are kept. That's the motor. That's the boring uh, brick-built wheelbase. We have the receiver here, which is why that little gap's there. The motor all goes through here, this is the battery box. And it all connects to the... Uh, what's this thing called? The controller, that's it. All looks very good. I'm not sure if I want to get any of the new city train sets for the, set, for the sake of the power functions. I'm still getting used to this lot. And I'm honestly a lot happier with these, so I might just keep it as that. But I suppose one day we could play around with it and just see what it's like. This is the roof for the um, the tender. I'm trying to remember my words. Very simple, of course, using these special slope bits. Uh, studs along the middle because I didn't have the appropriate uh, tile pieces to actually make it nice and smooth, so sod it. It is actually kept on a very clean sort of basic seat. All the tiles are being used here. I've only got four studs in total for this to sit on to make it very easy for it to be taken off. Very nice indeed. And it's very smooth. It does work very well. So let me we'll create a little scene just for you. Oh, that looks good. I don't know about you, but that train looks bloody good. That was three hours work in the middle of the night. That's quite an achievement for me. That's actually really good. So that is it, to be honest. I thought I'd have you know more time to go over this, but that's really it. It's kind of samey to the last model, I have to be honest. It still has that sort of clean not so much of a streamline look because of the front but at the same time it does look absolutely stunning oh the thing is i saw a comment uh not too long ago that said that a certain person misses the blue guardian and the orange bullet so i'm going to take in what he said and i'm going to rebuild the orange bullet as well i think that would be a nice thing to do so there we go, that is everything. I hope you have all enjoyed. It's good to see a train that's actually powered properly. This is, hang on one sec. Ugh. So that's not powered because that's too big. That's not powered, that's too big. That's not powered because that's too big. Obviously because that's too small, too small, too small. That was powered by the coach. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the first train I've ever built with power functions installed. My god. There we go, that is a true achievement for me. Actually, I, oh shit. I say that, but there was a version of the Emerald Champion where I tried to motorize it, but it didn't work. You know what, so scrap that. This is it. This is the big dog here. Ah, oh, good stuff. Let's actually end this before I make this more awkward. So thank you for watching, be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.